this is Karen from Grace Bee Creations. I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend so far. I am so sorry I'm getting this video out so late. I had to do a few things and before I knew it, I looked up again and it was 8.30. I'm like, oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding. For a person who gets up at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning, you would think I would have this video done by now. But I got to doing other things today and one thing led to another and... Before you know it, I'm here making my video at 8.56 p.m. and uploading it probably by 11, so at least I'm getting it out there. So today we are doing another couple of pages from the Slim Junk Journal that we started working on together. Um, the last video we were, we did this page. We did the lace pocket. We have this pocket with the really pretty Eiffel Tower that I glued on the front of the pocket um, to add as a tuck. We did the frame lace and the vintage paper. And then we added this piece that I did from Raindrop Lila's um, kit um, from um, the guest project that I did for her. And then we did the paper clip. So now we are moving on to this page. And then we'll just see how far we get. I'll keep an eye on the time. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say we're doing this many pages. We're just gonna go. I'm gonna go and see how many I get to. And then we'll just go from there. So something that I wanted to show you guys really quick is today I made these really cute buttons. I did. I made the fabric buttons. I got the kit to make fabric buttons and I went nuts. I went looking for all of my fabric and I did some blue and then I put an eyelid up in the corner and did a ribbon for that button card and then I did this one. I did I made these two buttons and that one came from a kit that I got. And then I did the same thing with the hole up in the top corner. So I'm going to add this one probably to um, the book today. So I have a bunch of stuff out that I um, had ideas with. And then I'm going to use this beautiful lace today. Because I've been dying to use it since I got it. So let's begin. Um, I'm going to move my glue over here so that my arm does not keep interrupting. And I, I shared this over on Instagram, but this week I um, decided to cover my um, my Sugar Bell blue, uh, glue bottle. I did a little bit of um, um, cardstock paper, not cardstock paper, regular paper printed, and then I put some lace over it. Doesn't that look so cute? Love it. And I love the way it feels, too. It's really cool. All right. So, we're going to, the first thing I'm going to do with the book is I want to add, I want to add um, a little hinge here. Uh, when pulling it out, we have the cardstock sticking out, but I wanted to add something that'll give it like a vintage look. So, I went and looked in all of my hardware, and I came out with this. It's like a little door handle with a little flower in the center. And so I thought I would add that right on the top here. I don't know, I was gonna glue it, but I think I have small brads to use for those. Let me look. I did not look before I started. This is my little tool. I have four of these little boxes. I got these from the dollar store a long time ago, and they are perfect for holding all of my little tools. Um, I'm going to need tiny ones. Actually, I do. I do have the tiny ones, so I will use those to put um, to put the thing on. Okay, so we're going to add this. And while I'm doing this, I thought I would start with a little 
getting to know me. I told you guys a couple of videos ago that when doing a project that I would like, do a little get to know me during the times that I'm, I can talk. And so I thought I would do a little about me while I'm putting this on. A couple of people had asked me, like, am I married? Um, yes, I am married 31 years this year. Me and my husband, Tim, um, he is a wonderful husband. Um, 31 years um, this November, we'll celebrate. I couldn't be happier. We met when we were just 18 years old. And we had a baby the first year that we met. Christopher is our oldest son. He's going to be 31 in June. So if you do the math, you'll know that I had him pretty quickly. Um, and then I have, I have three boys. I am a boy mom. Um, I have three boys. My oldest, Christopher, is 31. My middle son, Ryan, is 20. Oh, hold on. Let me think. <laughs> um, 26. And then my youngest is 22. 23. Wait a minute. 99. Oh, my goodness. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the older you get, you forget your kids' ages. So I've got three boys, and they are absolutely wonderful. They are such good, such good men. They are such good kids, like good, good guys, is what I say. I, I see them as kids still sometimes, but I was blessed with amazing kids, and I couldn't, I couldn't be happier. Um with my family and I am originally from, um, I was born in Massachusetts and, um, sorry for my hands being in the way, I'm just trying to put the brads on. Um, I was born in Massachusetts and I grew up mostly in New Hampshire met my husband, we got married, had our three children, and then his company for his job moved us down to Georgia. 16 years ago, I, well, I've been down here since 2005. So we've been down here quite a bit, quite a long time now. Um, it was hard leaving all of my family, but I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for the world. I absolutely love Georgia. So um, that's where I'm from. Um, I was a photographer for the longest time. I had my own studio when I first moved to Georgia. I did like wedding photography and baby, um, newborn baby photography, and I did it all. I did family photography, and um, I loved it, but I got burnt out pretty quickly. Uh, so I added that to the book. This kind of gives it like a vintage -y look. So yeah, I have a wonderful husband, wonderful boys. Um... They bless me every day. Um, one of them lives out of the house. Um, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna take this out and put it over here while I work in the book, so that I won't bend it while I'm turning the pages. Um, my oldest lives on his own, and my two still live here, but they work. So, my husband works from home. He's been with the company for twenty something years. I am completely blessed that I haven't had to really get a job outside of being a mom and all of that, and besides my own photography business and stuff. So so that was a little bit about me. Anything else I can think of, I will, I will let you know. So 
I hope that answered some questions. I know some people asked me a few questions in private messages, so I thought I would just share. I have a sister who's five years younger than I, and she's up in New Hampshire. I miss her so much. I have this little piece here. I did this in a die cut. I thought I could maybe add this to a page. Um, I'm not sure where to add it. Okay, we get to play real estate now. See where these pieces are gonna live. All right, the first thing I really wanted to do was I wanna add this lace somewhere. So, um, I have been dying to use this lace. We could add it onto a page end, or, let me see. We could use it as a belly band. Yep, that's what I'm doing. We're gonna do a belly, we're gonna do a lace belly band. Now normally I would bring this over to stitch it. Maybe I should just so I can give it really good. Okay, I'm gonna go over and stitch this really quick. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. That was not an easy task, I tell you. A word of advice, if you're ever gonna do a lace belly band in a book that's already binded and you wanna stitch it, don't do it. I had to crunch this book underneath. <laughs> it was not it was not easy, but I did it. So I, I stitched the top and the bottom to make a lace belly band. And I did a little cool stitch. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> my cat jumped up and wanted every time I go to my sewing machine, my cat, she just wants to play because she knows that's where all the thread is, right? And she thinks she's gonna get some play time. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm doing a video right now. Okay, so we have a really cool belly band, which is a lot of fun. So we can tuck some papers in there. We can even do, we can even put one of the buttons in there, or we can just add some regular paper, ephemera, book paper. I have some book paper here we can put in there can kind of do that. Actually, that looks really good. can make this into an envelope. I'm not stitching it. I'm going to glue it. I'm not going back over to the sewing machine. Okay. Like this. I love this book page, by the way. This is that book that I got from that vintage store. And, oh my goodness, it's like I told you guys in the other videos that I made, it's very fragile book paper, like even touching it, it rips. It's so fragile, but it's vintage. And I love the word beloved that's on there. I just love it. Okay, so we have a little envelope that I just glued. And what I can do, I don't want it just to be plain. So what I can do is take some of my pink, this one is Victorian velvet, and I will grab my spongy tool. I had a, yep, yeah, here's my spongy tool, and I'm going to use, let me see, I had a, a stencil. Here it is. So I'm going to do is I'm going to use a stencil and I'm going to add a little rose. I'm missing my other tool, the blender, the one with the white and it has like a handle. I like that so much more, but I'm not going to waste my time trying to find it. I want to work on the book. So I'm just going to go over it lightly. just to add a little something to the book page. And then on the top part, 
I will do, I think there was three parts to that stencil. I thought there was another one. Oh, I don't know where it went. I'll do, let me see. I'm just like a little scroll. Maybe I can do like this leaf or something. Or there's like a little rose here. No, that's a leaf. Um, where's, I have another stencil that has like um, little scrolls on it. Let me see. Maybe something like you can do this right here. This design right in the center. Just a little add something. Okay, we can add this right inside the belly band. Like that. If you want to show a little bit of the lace, just move it down and put a little paper clip here. Even though the belly band is supposed to hold it, it's actually a lot looser, so we can probably stuff more paper in there. Doesn't that look cute? I love this lace. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely going to have to order more from her before she runs out because I never want to run out of this lace. Okay, I'm going to trim that. Okay. I like how that came out. I'm wondering if we need to add anything on the back of the other side of the paper clip. I have a few things that I can add. Some fabric. I think some fabric. I like it. I like it. Thank you um, for all the compliments that you guys left on this book. I really appreciate it. Everybody has left such kind compliments and comments about how much they love this book and I really like how this is coming out. This is looking pretty. I like to always see how the theme of it is going by turning the pages and, oh, I just love, love how that came out. And the next page is gonna be the other side of the striped paper. And this is where we can add our button. And I was thinking of adding this one here. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to glue it. I'm going to glue this one down. What we can do is, I just did that the wrong way. I was going to leave, hold on, I'm going to wipe this glue off right here. I have an idea. <clears throat> I'm going to make a tuck using the button page. So I'm going to glue here. And leave this side open. Because then we can use this as a tuck. Anytime you can make a pocket is worth doing. Because you can just fill up your book. I try and make everything I put down into a possible tuck. Because now you can take, I, I put lace on the other side of the spool card. That might have still glued down because I might not have. wipe that enough 
and I always use this tool here for going in and wiping any glue that may be in the way of the pocket. So now you have a tuck here that you can use for anything. I'm just showing you an example. So now we have a tuck. I will find something to put in there after. So now we're on to this page. I love this die cut that I did the other day. I posted on Instagram. I don't know if you guys saw that. And I'm going to add this to this page here. Another piece of lace that I love. And I think it goes really well with the book. I'm going to put it right on the outer edge. So it can be showing a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't show through too much. Sometimes you have to be careful of your fabrics when using glue because it can show through. Trim. Got that. I got this little piece. I forget where I got this from. I think it, it was a Happy Mail swap that I did with someone. It is adorable. I love it. I wonder if I should put something here. <laughs> I don't know. I know I want to do something with this bag. Mm -hmm. I left this like that so I can fold it. Let me see what we can do. And do something like maybe do something like but then the rose would be hidden I don't want to do that I don't want to glue that that won't work maybe we can do it the other way so that when you open it you can still use it as a pocket. Yeah, maybe that's what I can do. I think I'm gonna glue it like that. And then it will open. You can see the nice design. You have a pocket here. And I could cut that and do another pocket here. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the cutter and I'm going to trim this bag. I'm going to trim this bag to the little crinkles on the top, make it even, and then I'm going to cut a very fine, very, very to the edge. Just a little off the bottom so I can make it into a pocket as well. I woke up this morning and I saw that I was up to 867, I think, on my YouTube, and I'm getting so excited because I can't wait to do that giveaway at a thousand. 
I'm excited and I'm humbled and I'm blessed. I cannot believe that I gotten up to 860 something subscribers. I am so excited and it's really cool. Everybody has been so kind. I love everybody who has left me a message and uh, it's just been really cool. All right, so we have a pocket there and we have a pocket here. So we can stuff anything in there, paper or um, like any card or a journal card, you know, just anything. So I will search off camera for some things to add in there next video and then of course I have to put something there so mm -hmm. I don't know let me see if I have anything over here oh, it's too big I'm just looking at all my ephemera. I like this um, embossed paper. I could trim this down and put it on the other side. Let me see. I also did that too. Look at how cute that is. Do you guys see that? But this one shows up more. Hmm. I like it. I think I'm going to go with it. I could have made this into a pocket too, but... I don't want to put too many pockets. We have one here and we have one here. I didn't want to make, I could have made a tuck, but oh well. Plenty of room to do another tuck somewhere. So now we have pocket, design, pocket, and then we have the embossed paper, which now here do you see where I'm going? We're adding layers, which is really cool. I could add the second button page, but I already did buttons already, so um, we can do um, let me see. Hmm. And do another lace belly band. No, I'm just joking. Where else can I put this lace? <laughs> I'm kidding. I got this trim here as well. It is so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. I showed this in the unboxing video that just came out. I think that would look adorable. And on here is actually, what side should I put? I don't want to do it on both sides. Oh, which side should I do it on? I like it here more. I'm going to put it along here. Because I forgot the trim anyways. So I'll just cover it with the trim. And it gives me an excuse to use this beautiful trim. I got this from Esme on her Crafty Me Shop in her auction she was doing. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. I'm trying to... 
get some ideas on my YouTube channel on like uh, things that I can do, um, you know, like a game or something with you guys, or we can do like um, something to get like the viewers involved. Um, some people like do a drawing once a month or something, or I'll think of something. If you guys have any good ideas for like videos or um, something that where the viewers can interact or let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. I didn't like the look of that. All right, so now we're here. And I think we're gonna go to, let me see how long this video is so far. We're at 32 minutes, so I think we're gonna go to, we're gonna finish up this and this, and then we'll end it, and I will do another video on Monday. Let me see. Oh, nope, can't show you that. That's a project coming up. I might do that project tomorrow. Um, hold on, let me look. I have more ephemera. Here's another page from the Raindrop Lila kit, but that wouldn't fit on there. I don't want to do that. Hmm. I was thinking a tag, but I don't really have a tag. Oh, wait. Could do. That's cute, but I think, hmm, I think I want to, I feel like something should be like behind it, like, um, let me see. <laughs> I feel like it's um, missing something and I don't know what. Like behind the picture. I also have this one too from my other project. There's this one. Actually, you know what? This might look good just right on top. I'll tie this back up. I am loving these slim journals. Like, when I first started doing the junk journals, I was all about the five signature books. And, um... You know, the big, thick books and the, um, but I'm really liking the Slim Journals, but, but I do miss doing the thick, chunky, five signature, five pamphlet stitch books. I really miss doing them, so I will be doing, I will be doing one soon. trying to think how I would attach this. I'm wondering if I should make a hole right here and maybe just put the thread through and tie it together. That's what I'll do. Where did I put my stabby tool? I feel like it's Christmas. 
when you're wrapping all the gifts and you can't find the tape or the scissors or the pen. I just had it. Just had it. I'll use... Actually, I might just use my tool thing. I cannot find anything. Where did it go? It's not underneath. All right, I'm just gonna use this little tool here. Let me see, I'm just gonna put a little hole on the top. Oop. And then I'm just gonna put the ribbon through and we'll do like a little tie that way. So yeah, definitely leave me a, um, a comment below and let me think if you guys have any ideas that would be a lot of fun for um, the channel, uh, like something we could do uh, like once a week or once a month or something fun or... Or if there's a video that you guys would like to see me do. Um, my next video is going to be a tutorial. And then the video after that is going to be adding more to this book. I, I am not good at doing bows, guys. I told you that in my last video. Or the video before that, making bows. My nails get in the way. That's what it is. I have long nails, so it's, <laughs> it's like roundabout. <laughs> I knew I would get it. It's just a matter of getting my fat fingers out of the way. Okay. I love it. And this one came undone. Oh my goodness. Really? Really? There we go. There. Okay. All right. So now we've got this page here. This, I love how this came out. Love the fabric. And then we have the hinge that we put on the front. And then we have the button. I can probably add a little something up here. Maybe put this one. Did I glue that all the way through? Yeah, okay. Then we have this. I still don't know if I'm going to put anything there or not. Like maybe a couple of buttons or maybe like um, some pearls maybe would be cool. Um, then we have the bag with the pocket, which I'm going to find some ephemera to put inside there. And then we have the pocket. And then we have the flip with the trim and the lace frame. You know what would be cool? I don't know if that would look good or not. You can kind of see it through it. Because when it's like that, you can't really see it. Maybe I can kind of add it on there. What do you think? So you can go like that. You know what? I'm going to glue that part. Just a little bit. I'm not going to completely glue it down. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back to hold it in place. So now you can kind of... Hold on. Sorry. Glue that down so now you can kind of like... Yeah. I like it. See how ideas come come about? Okay, now quickly, this page. I don't like to upload videos too, too long because I want to get this out for you guys to see tonight. That tag is still way too big. 
Um, I'm not sure about this page. I printed this up earlier, but I'm going to use that for something else. I'm running out of ideas. Let me see. I really like that a lot. Or I've got this really nice lace pocket. But I was going to use that for something else though. I want to save this. Um, let me see if I have anything else. Oh, I embossed this the other day and I added like pearls to it, uh, gems to it. But that's too big. It's a little too big. I might be able to add that there as a flip. Ooh, I actually like that. This is kind of shabby chic, though. I'm going to save the idea. I might come back to it. Uh, let me see. If I have anything else I can add. Let me see. Here's my ephemera. I've got a pocket tuck here. But I don't want to cover all of the, and I don't want to cover this. Hmm. I've got a doily. I can probably trim the doily and use it as a as a tuck. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of ideas. My brain is like not working in this moment. Do you guys ever go through this when you're decorating? You go through all of your all of your stuff to see what you can fit. Yes, I love to emboss. You think? You think? I have a piece of lace here. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to sleep on this one. I don't want to decorate it just to decorate it. I want to make sure that this book comes out the way that I want it to come out. I don't want to rush it just to rush it, you know? Um, maybe I can go on to a different page. Well, we have, I have this tag here. Yeah, let's do that. See, something came to me. Let's do a pocket. I'll do a pocket on the bottom of this page here. I'll use a piece of, let me see. I'm going to use the inside of this lace here to make a pocket. I'm going to try and get... I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to cut here. I'm going to be using that trim for something else anyway, so it's not like I'm cutting into... I have a lot of this anyway, so... I'm going to trim it. I'm going to be using this edging. So we're going to make a lace pocket and we're going to put a tag. That's pretty. 
That'd be kind of cool if we could like glue it and use it as like a Ah, I kind of like the look of that. Maybe we can like put the tag inside or like Vic can stitch it there and use that as like a tuck or I'm just, I'd have to glue it though. I can either do this or make it into a pocket. Can I do that? <laughs> oh my goodness. How <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go with the original idea. Whenever I come up with an idea, I try and stick to the first thing that I thought of. I'm like, "Oh, that was a really great idea." And I'm like, "Yeah, just stick to it." The thought came there for a reason. So I'm going to glue the end. And I'm going to, normally I would like to stitch this, but there's no way I can get this book under the sewing machine. That's why they say if you're going to do some fabric and lace pockets with your book, you want to do all of that before you put the book together. And this would have been hard because it's a flip-flop journal. It's actually envelopes. So you would have to have the idea way ahead of time before you put the envelopes together. So, um, I actually like the look of that. That looks so pretty hanging out the front of that. That's like a flip up. I really like that. I think I'm gonna leave it as that. I mean, you could put the tag in there, but it will fall out. I could do like a little band right there to hold the tag in. What would I make that band out of? Um, let me see. What could I make that band out of? I could use a piece of thick ribbon. Um, let me see. Let me, let me look really quick to see what I've got. I could probably use my trusty ribbon that I use for the top of my tags. And I could make like a little... band there to put the tag into. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to glue right here again. I already have some glue in there to hold this. Now I'm going to go across. I'm going to put some glue there. And I'm going to insert, go across. Okay, I'm going to trim it like that. We are at 50 minutes, guys. Okay, so this is going to be my last, my last page. We will do more pages on Monday. I hope to get this out to you guys tonight. Um, Saturday night. If not, it'll be Sunday morning. You'll see it. Uh-oh. I think I glued that too close. I should have gone more out on the edge. No worries, no worries. I can fix it. There we go. So now we have a little band to hold the tag so we can put the fabric over the top. I love it, love it. I like how that came out. 
I'm happy, I'm happy. All right, so let's take a look really quick at what we did. So close the book up. We're putting the journal card in. We have the closure, um, the handle that we put on there. We got this page. We have the embossed paper, Eiffel Tower. And then we flip it. We've got this page, and we have the paper clip. Then we have the piece of vintage fabric. Then we made the lace belly band with the book page that has the stamping on it. You turn it, we have the vintage buttons. We're gonna add something there later. We're gonna add some pearls here. We have a tuck pocket here. We have the bag that's stenciled. Then we have another pocket right here. And then we turn and we have this really cool lace frame that lifts up to show that frame. And then we have the 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 um the lace trim. And then we have the fabric triangle going over the tag that's held by the band. And then we added the trim. I say that's a good amount of pages. I love how this is coming out. Look at how chunky that is looking. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for decorating this book with me. Thank you for being here with me tonight. Again, I am sorry it's so late, but I'm going to try and upload this to you guys tonight. If you don't see it tonight, then it will be tomorrow morning on Sunday, and we will do another page on Monday, and I hope to do a tutorial video showing you how I made this tag here. So that is it. I hope you guys all have a great night. Have a good rest of the weekend. And I will talk to you later. Um, like, subscribe, share. I'm almost at a thousand. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye.